Hey, good morning. It's Wednesday morning. Hope you're doing well. Survived all the rain in the past few days and uh, your week is off to a, a, a great start. Actually, it's Wednesday, so I guess our week is pretty much halfway over. So uh, getting ready for the weekend, uh, kind of on the hump day uh, as we uh, journey together throughout this week. Thanks for joining us this morning for our, our daily time in the God, Word of God together, our daily time to reflect together and learn together. Of course, as you have seen this week. This week we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing this for the next few weeks. I figured during summer this would be a little bit of a different, uh, different thing to do. Kind of a little fun, a little relaxed. Uh, looking at some different things, and getting to explore some pop culture and some different stories. Uh, we're do we're looking at some Star Wars characters this week. I'm calling this the Gospel according to whomever, and uh, how we can find the seeds of faith and the seeds of Christ in the midst of these different. Uh, different stories. Yesterday we looked at the gospel according to Luke Skywalker and talked about the concept of Christian sanctification, the Christian perfection as we Methodists call it, how Luke throughout the trilogies grew his faith, uh, grew, grew as a Jedi and we saw him develop from a young kid to a great Jedi master and that he grew in his powers and in the force and that we as Christians are called likewise to grow as we talked from Philippians. Today we're going to look at a uh, Another character. If there's a character, I tried to think about what was the character that everybody loved the most in Star Wars and who everybody loved and liked to talk about. And of course, it was kind of hard because the person we're going to talk about today is Yoda. Uh, Yoda is perhaps the most famous Star Wars character. It's kind of hard to pick up the most famous because they're all so well known and so well beloved. Um, but Yoda is who we're going to talk about today. Um, Yoda is uh, the great Jedi master. Um, we meet Yoda. In uh, the very first, well, of course, in the original trilogy, we don't meet Yoda till Empire Strikes Back. Um, whenever Luke goes to Dagobah to be trained by Yoda in the Force, and then uh, we see him again in uh, Return of the Jedi when he he passes away and becomes a Force ghost. Um, but of course, if you go back and watch the the the, the, the trilogy, the, the prequels. Uh, Phantom Menace, uh, Attack of the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith. Yoda is a, is a primary character there because in this he is the great leader of the Jedi. He's the head of the <clears throat> Jedi Council, or he's on the Jedi Council, kind of the leader of the Jedi Council. Um, he's he, he, he has trained so many different Jedi throughout the years and is a respected leader among the Jedi and among the greater society. And then, of course, the most recent, uh, the most recent uh, trilogy, uh, we see Yoda... And, uh, and the last Jedi as a force ghost, uh, it, it continuing to teach uh, Luke as he taught Luke in Empire Strikes Back and the Return of the Jedi. So Yoda is a major character throughout all the um, different Star Wars um, features. Uh, he, we even seen, we're gonna talk later this week about the Clone Wars, an animated series uh, that took place between episodes two and episode three, where we get to learn more about the clones and what happened before we got to the Revenge of the Sith and how the Jedi had begun to lose their way. And Yoda is a major character as well in, um, the, the, in the Clone Wars. We'll talk about a character from that, from that series on Friday. But Yoda has many skills. Uh, he's a gifted warrior. Uh, he, 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 he's, he's a gifted uh, general. Uh, he's a gifted teacher as he teaches so many Jedis. But as I thought about Yoda, uh, I was drawn uh, to a passage from James, from James chapter 1, I want to read to you James 1, verse 5, it says, if any of you is lacking in wisdom, ask God, who gives generously and ungrudgingly, it will be given to you. As I thought about the life of Yoda, I thought a lot about the book of Proverbs, and about that passage there, about this notion of wisdom. One of the first things that uh, Yoda says to Luke is, judge me, do my size, do you? Yoda had an ability throughout all of the Star Wars stories to look at the deeper truth and the deeper uh, meaning of things. One of the things that, one of the, one of the podcasts I listen to about Star Wars, I always had a running joke about how Yoda in the first prequels needed to always go meditate upon things. He would always go meditate, always go meditate. And it became a running joke that he should be doing something. The bad guys are winning. Go do something. Don't just meditate. Go do something. But I think one of the central things we see within Yoda and within many of the Jedi and many of even the Sith is this notion of meditation and trying to seek 
higher power, a higher knowledge of the force, a higher, a higher connection to the force, a wisdom, if you will. When you read scripture, you see James here. James says, if any of you lack wisdom, ask God who gives generously and grudgingly. It will be given to you. The entire book of Proverbs is written from this philosophy of Solomon to seek wisdom, ask wisdom, know wisdom, desire wisdom. Wisdom is something that we Christians should desire. There's, there's an old saying that says wisdom comes with age, and I do think there's something to that. I hope I'm wiser now at age 44 than I was when I was younger. So hopefully wisdom does come with age. But we all know individuals who are very young and have great wisdom. <laughs> and we also know many individuals who are older and don't have much wisdom at all. So wisdom is not simply just a product of living. For Yoda, his wisdom would come from the fact that he was patient and that he would learn to quiet himself and listen to the Force and try to live out what the Force said and the Force had for him. And he would use the Force for good. As Christians, wisdom for us is attached to our walking with the Holy Spirit. There's an old saying that says, faith enlivens the eyes. Wisdom for us as Christians is not seeing with our physical sight, but seeing with spiritual eyes. I've said this to you many times. We're reading 1 John right now in our Rooted in Christ daily devotional readings that we're preaching from 1 John on our Sunday morning experiences right now. In John's gospel, one of the common things is that John always speaks about light and darkness, but he also speaks about sight. Now, one of the common things that Jesus does in John's gospel is that he heals the sight of the blind. And healing sight is not, for John, so much about healing the physical sight of someone, but it's, almost about, it's always about healing the spiritual sight, helping them to see properly, to live properly, to, to be attuned to truth that they can see. Wisdom is about not seeing through the eyes of the world, Wisdom is about seeing through the eyes of the Spirit. Having the Spirit shape our eyes. Well, how do we do it? Well, when you look at Star Wars, you see Yoda does meditate a lot. Yoda does quiet himself a lot. Yoda does try to listen, both to the Force, but also to others. Yoda is easy to accept correction. One of the things we see a lot in the movies is that Yoda takes correction or takes advice or takes wisdom from children. Jesus in the Gospels the little ones upon his knee and says you must have the faith of a child I think as Christians in a world very busy and maybe right now the world doesn't feel busy because of the pandemic but many of us may still be working from home many of us may not feel as busy as we have in the last few years maybe we're not physically busy but I can imagine right now even if we aren't as physically busy as we've been I bet we're pretty emotionally busy busy I bet we're pretty mentally busy. And I bet our I bet our, our, our minds are spinning pretty quickly right now. I bet our hearts are spinning very quickly right now. And I don't know that we're taking the time always to quiet ourselves, to listen, to seek God's voice. Are we quieter, uh, quieting ourselves before scripture and asking God to speak to us through his word? Are we quieting ourselves when we pray to allow His Spirit to speak to us? Are we listening? Are we calming our hearts? Are we showing patience spiritually? Are we showing patience with our own lives? Are we seeking wisdom? James here says, if any of you lack wisdom, if any of you are lacking wisdom, ask God, and He will give to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given to you. Yoda's life across all of the Star Wars legacies, in fact his last appearance in Last Jedi is a lesson to Luke about being a mentor. And he, I'm paraphrasing here, but he tells Luke they are, the, they, are, they, are, they are the ones who go beyond us. He's dispensing wisdom to Luke even there in that scene. Luke the great Jedi master. Wisdom. Luke, Yoda is there giving him wisdom. Yoda understood that it wasn't about size 
our strength, our power, or any of these things. But the greatest weapon, the greatest tool, the greatest thing that you can have at your disposal is the power of wisdom. As Christians right now, in a moment that feels kind of crazy, doesn't it? Everything's spinning very quickly. Everything is going very fast. Everything feels a lot out of control. I think there's a lot we can learn from that. That we need to take to heart these words of James. If you feel unsure, feel afraid, feel uncertain, feel as though it's a little, a little crazy, ask for wisdom. Seek wisdom. Seek wisdom. And God will grant it. And then when God gives us wisdom, when God gives us knowledge, when God gives us truth, let us be unafraid to live out that wisdom. Let us be unafraid to take that, because Proverbs is so big on that. Proverbs is always like, seek wisdom and follow it. Live it out. Let us be very careful that when God has shown us his wisdom, that we live it out daily. And let us be unafraid as well to share our wisdom to someone else. And I think that's one more thing we can learn from the life of Yoda. Yoda always had somebody he was mentoring. Obi-Wan. We see it in the Clone Wars with Ahsoka a little bit. We see it in Rebels with Ezra Bridger. We see it with, with Luke. We see it We see it with so many people throughout all of We see it with the younglings in, 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 in the first few in the, in the sequels. I mean the prequels rather. We see that Yoda knew that he had been given much wisdom by the Force. He understood that it was his responsibility to pass that wisdom on to the next generation. Those of us that may be a little older, those of us that have experiences, those of us who have learned, sometimes learned the hard way what not to do. Are we taking the time to pass on our knowledge and our wisdom to the ones who come behind us? I know for me, I'm thankful for those mentors in my life, those pastors and friends who I know I can call in a moment's notice and say, hey, what do you think about this? Or hey, what are you doing about this? And I'm thankful for those who have had wisdom before me, what they've taught me. And I want to be the kind of person who gives generously, who offers, not telling folks what to do, but say, hey, this is my, what I think, I'll support you. Yoda understood that wisdom was not something that was to be gathered and kept for its own sake. It was not something to be put up in a cabinet. It was not a plaything to be, to be just admired. But wisdom was something that was meant to be lived out. When we, as it says here in James, ask God for his wisdom, ask God for his eyes, ask God for his understanding, ask God for his discernment, ask God for his knowledge, when we seek out God's wisdom and seek to live it out, may we also be very careful and pass that to someone else. May we pass on, may we seek to mentor others because there's much that we can teach, but also there's much we can learn. Bishop Ward used to always say, let me teach with the tongue of a learner. I think that's what wisdom is. Wisdom is the teacher that allows us to then teach others. So we have a lot we can learn from our little green friend about wisdom. And my prayer is that we take on these words from James here today and that we ask God for his eyesight and his understanding and for his wisdom. And so that when we have God's wisdom, we can pass that wisdom on to others. There's a lot we can learn from his life. But more importantly, there's a lot we can learn from Scripture. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, we're going to continue uh, the next few days uh, looking at different Star Wars characters and see what they can teach us about faith, about the gospel, and how we can find the truth of God's word there even in these pop culture things. Hey, love you guys. Hope you have a great day today. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a great day.